Hi, this is Warren Buckleiner today looking at Color the World with Fox and Sheep, a coloring program. And I'm going to speed up here through all of the options of places you can go. I like the little moving globe, but unfortunately you can't um, spin the globe to get to a location. Uh, that's, so that's just kind of frosting. Um, so notice the contrast between the very hyper beginning and then the very relaxing kind of feel here. You also notice a lot of color options. If you're trying to use this with a child, they will instantly be very confused by the color selections because what you see is not always what you get. You have to double tap on the color palette to get the color. And uh, our testers struggled a little bit with that. The other immediate problem that I noticed is there's no undo. So when that, that's obvious, there might be some hidden somewhere, but the only way to undo something, which is very important with any drawing program, is to select the eraser. So that is a problem. Another issue that you probably want to know about right away is that the level of difficulty and number of colors and selections and so on is not really well matched with the uh, content. So this is New York City and I'm not, there's nothing about this picture that says New York City to me. So um, the Illustrations are a little more childlike, and plus there's only one illustration for New York. So, if, so these are all things that you should probably know about. In terms of the coloring mechanics themselves, I did like the smart coloring. So you see how the color goes around the outlines automatically. Whenever I test any kind of drawing or coloring program, I always have a checklist that's uh, specific uh, to this medium. We call these quality attributes. And so one of the things that we try to do is make something kind of serious. So I was trying to make the sheeps in a slight contrasting gray. And rather than just having, having white sheeps, um, I was really happy to see all these cool textures. Although again, what you see is not always what you get with this app and that's a problem um, there's also no zoom so if you want to really zoom in for details you can't do that and that's a disappointment you can see that when I select colors that the, the background on the palette below changes which is kind of weird because they're actually two different shades so this is another, there's a lot of uh, user interface issues with this app that should be removed or should be, should be fixed. Uh, last but not least, uh, worth noting that it is easy to automatically save your work, although if that's not obvious, you have to exit. So you're not really, you don't really feel secure that your work is safe, but it is. And then it's very easy to share your, your options. This app is available in multiple languages, although no reading is required. And um, there is no obvious control over the audio, the music. Last but not least, there's only a horizontal mode and not a vertical mode. So if you flip your iPad, um, you don't have that option as well. So the final thing that I'm going to check here is the parent options, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And you can tell here that, um, like a lot of the Fox and Sheep apps, they want you to rate your rate the app. And there are some other limitations that keep the child or you know a novice from just jumping right in. Bottom line is there are better coloring programs. Uh, this one's fun, but you spend have to spend some time learning it. I'm Warren Buckleitner, and we'll see you next time.